Hello! In this video tutorial, we are going to show you how to add your feed URL to your Roku Direct Publisher page. And you do that in your developer dashboard. Now the question is, where do I actually get my feed? Because here's the thing, in tvchannelpress.com, where you create your Roku Direct Publisher feeds using WordPress, you know how to add Roku videos to your feed. The question is, where do you actually get your feed so you can put it into your Roku channel? Well, this is how you do it. You log into your tvchannelpress.com account and you go to pages, just like you would any other WordPress page. Now here, we give you a Roku feed automatically. You click on view. Now here you'll see that I have only three videos in this feed because you can tell that if I go back to Roku videos, I only have three videos here, but you can add as many videos to your feed as you like. So we go to pages, click on view under Roku feed, and we're going to take the top URL right here. Now this URL is going to be copy and pasted into your Roku screen. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're gonna copy this, and then we're going to go back to Roku. Now, if you're not logged in to your developer dashboard on Roku, do that first. And once you do that, you click on Manage My Channels. Now, here you will see that I develop a lot of Roku channels for my clients. But the one that we're going to work with here is WordPress Guru because my tvchannelpress.com account is the WordPress Guru. So let's go ahead and we'll click right on the icon. Good. Now, when you end up in this screen, if your channel's already published, you're going to see preview and publish. If not, you're going to see another screen, but what you need to do is the same. Click on this menu over here and you're going to go to feed URL. Now, you can see I have a different URL in here, but I want this URL from tvchannelpress.com. So since I've already copied it, I'm going to put it here. Let's go ahead and remove that. And we have it. Now we want to make sure the video format is specified in feed and we're going to save. Now it's going to go through a process called ingesting. It's going to ingest all the information from your feed. Now, once that happens, you want to go to feed status. You click on feed status, and you want to make sure that you get a green circle with a white check, uh, check mark. This means that you have three items or whatever items you have in your feed, they're ingested successfully. If they're not, if there are any issues, and we will address this in another video, you will see right away that you'll have a red circle and with the next in it, and it will tell you what's wrong. And we'll address those again, like I said, in another video. Now, once you're done here, just in case, you're not always going to see this particular message, even if it's successful. So what you want to do is you want to click refresh now in case you don't see that yet. Sometimes it takes about 15 minutes for all the items to get ingested, especially if you have a couple of hundred items in your feed. But once you see this, you're good to go. Now you need one. You need, need to do one more step. Let's click on this menu again, and we're going to go down to Preview and Publish. And from here, you're going to click the Update button. And that's it. Now what you'll do is you will just do a quick system update on your Roku device. I'll show you how to do that in another video. But this is how it works. If you want more information, you can go to tvchannelpress.com. And this website may be redeveloped by the time you see it. You can also look at all of the channels who are using us so far. And you can sign up right here. See you in the next video.